in Saginaw, there was a Dream Girls, which is a strip club, and there was is a. That gy- you, oh, that's not in the book. That's you didn't not work in the there, book. Right? No, okay. I didn't work there. Yeah. <laughs> Thought about working at one while I was in college. You can make a whole lot of money there. So <laughs> yeah, um, especially more than you can in TV at first. Yeah. I mean, I did think about working at one in college, by the way. Yeah, that's got to the book. parking lot. Got to the parking lot. I was so close. Did you really get to the parking lot? To the parking. My friend worked there. My girlfriend, who I went to college with, and we were on the dance team together. Well, Palm Squad. I wouldn't call it a dance team. Uh, I knew I wouldn't have made as much because I don't have that type of rhythm. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think at a certain point in time, rhythm's probably not exactly what they're looking for. You could have gone on yeah. at 11 o'clock at night and been probably fine, but I'm glad you avoided it. I did. I am, Speaking as a father, I'm happy you well. didn't do it. <laughs> it worked out well, that I, and I just couldn't do it. I sat in the parking lot, and I thought, I can't. I, it's not, I wasn't even thinking about my future or any of that. I just was thinking more about skill. <laughs> that's what kept me away. You were, you were wor- more worried that your resume wouldn't support your job as a part-time stripper? Yeah, that's correct. Okay. Yeah. And you went on to be on Dancing with the Stars. I did. Barely dressed. That, that's correct. See, it all, it all, yep, all track. comes full circle. <laughs> I got to do it eventually in front of America and 15 million people every Monday night. Which you was, did. Yeah. Which, and and, is and I watched at- every single oh, episode. Thank you.